Hello YouTube and welcome to the 12th tutorial in the PHP programming series and in this video we're going to cover the logical operators. Now in the previous video we covered conditional operators for when you're making an argument in a if statement and for this video we're just going to cover the logical operators and to start off we'll just make a simple we'll make a file, make the PHP file first call it logic.php and we're going to make a simple if statement We'll make a variable called name and we'll put the name to Chris and then we'll have an if statement. And inside of the brackets it's going to say if name is equal to Chris. Then what we're going to do is output the text. Welcome to the website. Okay, that's simple enough. You should know what this means from previous tutorials, so let's go to logic.php and it says welcome to the website. So what we can do now is add a logical operator and what a logical operator does is allows us to add more than one condition inside of the bracket so we can have one, two, three, however many conditions that you want and all of them have to be true for this statement to execute so what we're going to do now is make a new variable called password and we'll set that to password1 now I'm not recommending you to use this as a login system because it's not secure and it's not very practical if you have more than one account because let's say somebody gets access to your server then they can view this PHP file and they can view your password in plain text and at all passwords of your users so it is not recommended to use this login authentication system but if you would like to use this um, to test it out then feel free to but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to pretend this is a login system Okay, so one of the con sorry logical operators is AND, and what AND will do is just say it will make sure that the if statement runs through two um, conditions before it executes the code. So it's used by the keyword AND, and after we type AND, we can also set another statement. So we're going to say password is equal to password1. So that's going to say, okay, if the name is equal to Chris, check and password is equal to password1 check then it will echo welcome to the website we'll save that and you can see that it echoes this but if we change one of the letters let's change it to password2 then nothing will be executed because as you can see the condition is false so that is the and um, logical operator and also we can use the or so what we can do is maybe set ourselves two passwords so we'll have a new password which we'll use the username for this one password will be password1 and then what we can do is so this is saying that the user has entered the password password1 and then what we can do is we can go down here and we can say if and have our um, brackets and curly braces we can say if password is equal to and our first password that we'll accept is password2. That will be the first password that we would recognize. And what, like, if we execute this right now, then this will be false because the password is not password2. But we can also say we'll have another password we'll accept using or. So just like the Andy type out the, the word or. Or password is equal to password1. So what this is saying now is it's saying, okay, the user has entered the password as password1 and it says if the password is equal to password2 then it will execute the statement but if that's false we can go to or password is equal to password1 which it is so it will execute the statement so let's echo welcome to the website we'll save that and there's a parser on line 5 I now missed the semicolon put that in there and it says welcome to the website so if we change this to password2 we will also be granted authentication welcome to the website but if we change this to something outside of the or statements like password3 as you can see nothing is executed because we have not entered a correct password so thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any questions leave a comment once again you should not use this as a login system I'll be making tutorials on MySQL um, databases and also encryption 
in a future tutorial so you should watch that when it is released it will I think it's going to be around number 25 but you know for now just for the purpose of testing out logical operators you can just run this test it out or be creative and create your own way so to summarize the AND logical operator will allow us to enter more than one condition to be true so sorry more than one condition has to be true so we can have multiple conditions that have to be true inside of the brackets and the OR logical operator will allow us to have more than one option to be true so not just one condition will have multiple conditions and any of them can be true so please leave a comment like the video subscribe and keep watching for more tutorials